You've heard about Ozempic, but what about Oatzempic? Join me as I uncover the shocking facts and myths about this TikTok sensation that's taking the weight loss world by storm. I'll dive into why this oat-based weight loss trend is gaining so much attention and what the actual science says about trends like these. If this is the first time you've seen me or clicked on one of my videos, I'm Dr. Ashley. I'm a PhD nutritionist, registered dietitian, weight loss expert, and the founder of PhD Weight Loss, where we've helped over 7,500 people drop more than 260,000 pounds across the U.S. And my goal is to help you get the science-backed information you need to actually lose the weight, keep it off, and live the best life possible. Ozempic Day 5. Yes, you heard that right. It's not Ozempic, it's Oatzempic. So, Oatzempic, we need to lose at least 5 pounds. It's a mix of oats, lime, and water with a sprinkle of cinnamon blended into a meal replacement drink meant to replace some weight loss drug alternatives like Ozempic, Wagovi, and Manjaro. Some users claim losing up to 40 pounds in two months. I needed a pick-me-up because often when losing weight, it's very slow. And when you don't see progress on the scale, you get discouraged. Along with low-calorie, high-protein meals, the Alabama mom says the drink is helping her to get closer to her goal weight. Maya, thank you um, for joining us. First off, does it actually mimic no. what Ozempic gives you? It absolutely does not mimic what Ozempic gives you. This is a drink based in oats, mm -hmm. water, a squeeze of lime juice, and perhaps a dash of cinnamon. It is not a medication, and it does not mimic Ozempic. Very well said. <laughs> Okay, there you go. <laughs> I mean, that's fairly clear. You know, it's just not the same. If you're looking for a meal replacement, it needs to be done under clear medical supervision. Mm -hmm. I would not use this because you're not going to get all the nutrients that your body needs. You're essentially starving your cells of what they want so they can function optimally. It's simply not worth it. What I always say to folks who are looking to lose weight is you really have to think about your why rather than doing a crash diet. It's true. This is mimicking an eating disorder, and it's not something that I mm. want to see the general public engaging in. Yeah, I can agree with that one right there. And oats, they can, oats can be a part of a healthy diet. Absolutely. How can you incorporate them? I'm so not oats a fan. are wonderful. They've got <laughs> beta glucan. They're resistant starch, good for reducing, you know, your cholesterol. They're absolutely wonderful. From my perspective, I understand that folks out there really want to engage in yeah. weight loss. I get it, but we have to be thoughtful about how we do it and not go to the extreme. Okay, well, I like this dietitian Maya. She seems very sensible, and I like what she had to say. So this oat zempic shake, like she said, has nothing to do with Ozempic. It's just a catchy play on words to help make this shake go viral. It doesn't mimic the effects of the drug at all. You know, some foods really can stimulate GLP-1, and GLP-1 is that main ingredient in Ozempic and these other drugs. And I'm going to talk about some foods that can help to stimulate it naturally. You know, I thought it was interesting when Brandy was talking about that it's her gateway to weight loss, and that's how the brain works. A lot of us have these gateways, and it doesn't matter if it's a crazy oat shake that's really not going to serve your body at all, or if it's going to the gym, or if it's signing up to work with someone and having a counselor and participating in the program. But I really do encourage you if you are on a weight loss journey to set some healthy habits, not this oat zempic shake, but some other kind of healthy habit that is your gateway to help you and your brain tie into the fact that you are indeed making a shift in your lifestyle. Our clients at PhD Weight Loss, it could be just signing up for the program and working with us. It could be going outside and doing a morning walk. It could be having a meal plan that is designed specifically for you. But I really do encourage you to associate something with these healthy habits and your weight loss journey. But I don't encourage you to use the oat zempic shake to do that. Slow weight loss is discouraging. Like Brandy said, it's better when it goes faster. And I, I do want to share with you the fact that weight loss does not have to be slow to be healthy. You can do weight loss in a healthy and safe way, again, not drinking this oat zempic shake, but doing it in a healthy way where you drop two to three pounds a week is totally healthy and sustainable. I think it's interesting that Brandy was equating this shake to her feeling better, but that had nothing to do with it. I don't want you to think that if you drink this oat shake that you're going to automatically feel better and reduce inflammation. She was reducing inflammation through reducing insulin by
by eating those higher protein meals that they showed you and reducing her overall calories. It was not because of the shake. She was eating less sugar, likely less processed food, less junk food, and more protein. And together that was reducing insulin and reducing inflammation. The oat zempic shake has no protein in it. Just like Maya, the dietitian mentioned, it is not a good meal replacement. With that meal replacement, you're not getting the nutrition or the protein like we said that you really need. I don't think oats are great. I don't think that you should eat oatmeal for breakfast, especially if you are dropping weight and if that's all you eat. We really want to focus on protein forward. So I encourage that if you are eating oats to let those go completely. You really want to focus on savory protein forward meals. I have a longer episode that talks about what to eat for breakfast. Another episode that provides a step-by-step guide for dropping 20 pounds where I really talk about each meal and snack that can help you. As for GLP-1, this hormone is produced in the intestines and it's produced in the intestines in response to food intake and it acts like an appetite suppressant. And this is what these drugs Wagovi, Ozempic, Terzepatide are based off of. So instead of the oat shake that just spikes your blood sugar and spikes your insulin. Instead, you want to eat other foods that might stimulate the release of GLP-1 in your intestines naturally. And so this would be meats, poultry, fish, eggs, cottage cheese, full fat, plain Greek yogurt. All of these things will do that naturally. Healthy fats like avocado oil, coconut oil, olive oil, all of your non-starchy veggies, and then consuming regular meal patterns helps to release this appetite suppressant hormone. I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I saved you from even the possibility of consuming this oat zempic shake. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Also drop your comments below. What do you think about this craze? And I look forward to seeing you next time.